Let's talk about the real cost of starting a YouTube channel in 2024 because a lot has changed and I can tell you it's not free. However, some of these things that will cost you to start a YouTube channel are easier to come about than they used to be before. And if you play your cards right, the return on investment is huge. So I'm so glad you're here because on this channel, we're just deep diving into how to increase your income and influence with YouTube. And let's go straight to the first cost. When we look at those guys who have big YouTube channels and huge following, sometimes it can get a bit intimidated. And I know because I personally have started two YouTube channels and sometimes you're like, oh my goodness, for my channel to really make it, I need to have all the big fancy things that the Mr. Beast of this world and the Ryan Trehans have. And that can be a bit intimidating. But there are some things that we are going to need to just get us off the ground and these ones can be in the broad spectrum of really affordable or like way way up there but that should never be a reason why someone should not start a youtube channel i think the the list for what you need to start is quite short just at the very beginning it's very simple very few things that you need they can get you started and then as your channel grows you can keep improving so the first cost that's going to cost you when you're starting a youtube channel is basically just equipment so thankfully in this day and age Everybody has a smartphone and I can assure you with just your simple smartphone, you can start a very nice, very good and very profitable YouTube channel because the most important thing is not actually the camera that you filmed your content on, but your skills of storytelling, how you're engaging your audience, how you're meeting their needs, how you're helping them and adding value to their lives. Let me tell you, your average viewer does not care whether your video is 4K or not as long as they are entertained by it, as long as they are helped, as long as their life is easier because of it. So your basic camera your, on your smartphone should really be able to get you started. Another gear that is really important is lighting. As you can see right now, I'm filming during the day because sunlight is the best lighting ever. And also you need a very, very good microphone. As some people say, it is more important for people to be able to hear you well than to see you clearly. So I think it is just those three things, those three equipment that you need is a camera or a smartphone, um, a microphone comes next, and then some lighting and the sun will also do very well for you. So that's the first cost. As I said, the broad, it can be on a broad spectrum of, of very expensive or very affordable, but you can do this. Don't let that stop you. And let me know down below which of these three you feel like you are lacking or which of these three you, have, you wish you could spend more money on, whether it's a camera or whether it's a microphone or whether it's some lighting. Let me know down below. And let's go to the second cost. Your second cost will be your editing essentials. Because once you have filmed your nice video, you will need to edit it. I mean, go on other days when we just used to film and then post. Because this is 2024, your viewer has so many options to choose from. So you need your video to kind of, you know, look like you took some time to make it really nice for them. So editing is important. And thankfully, again, 2024, we have so many free options to choose from when it comes to editing. I love CapCut. There's InShot. There's, there's so many, basically. I'll put a number of them here. Those are the free ones. But if you want to increase your options or and the features that you want to add to your editing techniques and your editing journey, of course, there are those that you need to pay a monthly subscription or just buy once and install in your computer. And these will take your video to the next level. So editing, it's important to just... Put that as one of the costs that you're going to invest in because it can really take your video from meh to just wow. And let me tell you, your viewer actually appreciates you taking time to making the video so much more interesting for them. And they will come back because they have seen that you're, you're making an effort to actually give them good content. So editing, don't forget that, very important. The third cost will be upskilling, leveling up your skills. Increase your knowledge and your skills because the more skills you have, the better your content will be. So you need to plan to invest in online courses, tutorials and all that because personally as someone who has been doing YouTube for like four years, I can tell you the learning curve has been quite steep but the more I have learned literally every video, I apply things that I am learning and I have seen drastic changes and results. So it's not just about, oh, I need to make a video about, let's say, hiking and then you film and then you're always doing the same thing. Actually, one thing I've noticed, especially on my other channel is the viewers will normally comment and say, oh my goodness, your videos have really changed. I was with you from the beginning. They're so much better. The storytelling is so much better. The filming is so much better. The editing. So it's really, you can really tell that people notice that you're upskilling and you're actually putting in the effort to get better at it and make your content better. So focus on any courses that you can get. We actually have a fantastic masterclass that we need, has all the information that you might need to start and grow a YouTube channel to profitability. 
Because for us, we believe that building and growing on YouTube is actually a business that can bring you so much return on investment. But just like any other business, you do need someone to guide your hand. And what I have, the response and the feedback we've gotten from our masterclass is that it's really good. It's really easy to focus on it because it, it dissects all the parts of growing a YouTube channel in really palatable and, and bite-sized pieces that are easy to apply. It's very applicable, so I'll put a link down below. But however you get it, just upskill. Increase your skills because it's going to take you so much far in your youtube journey the fourth cost is one that i i have struggled with and it still costs me i feel like it's one of the biggest costs when it comes to growing a youtube channel and once i master it i feel like i'll i'll, I'll, I'll be at a whole new level but i'm still struggling with it four years later and this cost is time and effort stroke energy because for most of us who are starting and growing youtube channels most of us have another job. Like for me, I have, I'm fully employed. I have a full-time job. And then I have another YouTube channel which have, has grown to almost 180,000 subscribers. And then I have this one. And then I have a family. There's a lot and a business and all that. So the time and the effort to grow a YouTube channel is, is it can be quite quite taxing and that's i think for me the biggest cost that i've found so far however what i also really really love about it is that when you are willing to pay the cost of the time and the effort the return on investment is astronomical i when i started uh, my journey on youtube i never ever imagined that i would be where i am today that it would open the doors that it has opened for me and for me i feel like that is so much worth all the sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless nights, guys. Um, a lot of exhaustion. <laughs> a lot of filming videos with red eyes. And, you know, just being super tired. But it has been so worth it. Because I believe that nothing good comes easy. And all those guys that we see who have made it, they, they really put in a lot of effort. I mean, a lot of people say, I would like to be the next Mr. Beast and everything. But when I hear about what Mr. Beast has done to get to where he has done... I think there's a day he spent 1,000 days continuously studying YouTube for like, I don't know, eight hours a day. 1,000 days or something like that. Just some, some really crazy number. And I'm like, my goodness, that investment of time and effort is out of this world. And maybe that is, not maybe, of course, that is why his returns are out of this world. So for me, I just feel like I'd like to just tell any upcoming YouTubers, whether you're starting or whether you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, it is so worth it. But I don't want to kid you. Let me not lie to you. It is, it is not easy, but it is so worth it. You know, it's just like starting a business. And I'm saying, no, no business is going to bring you a million dollars in return on investment if you haven't spent quite a bit of time and effort on it, okay? So yeah, this is me pulling back the curtain. I'm telling you guys, it's hard work, but it is worth it. So time and effort... I think that will be your biggest cost. I don't know. Let me know whether you agree with me because we still have one more cost that will make all, will tie all this cost together and I think will make it easy for us as we progress with our, with our YouTube journey. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about that time and effort part because yeah, I'd like to know what you think about it. Okay, let's go to cost number five. And cost number five is outsourcing because as I said, the cost of time and effort or energy it's so high. It is very, very high. And as your YouTube channel grows and as you grow in your journey, it, the only way to maintain that growth, honestly, I have found is to be willing to outsource. Because I made another video just recently talking about why going full-time on YouTube is a scam at this point in time, in this day and age, in this economy. So unless you want to go full-time, and I've listed up very, very practical reasons why I don't think that is practical right now. At, at least at the stage where I am. So unless you want to go in full time, the only other option is to outsource. So for us, we have outsourced video editing, but you can even outsource like thumbnail design. You can outsource, um, what else can you outsource? Like social media management and all that to take away what is on your plate so that you're able to, con to just be commit and focus on creating the YouTube videos focus on coming up with nice stories, focus on responding to your viewers and everything. So yeah, outsourcing is, and I know some people normally feel like, oh, I don't want to pay someone. And I always 
compare it to if you are starting a business, you know, like a brick and mortar business, you're opening a shop maybe, and you want to sell shoes. You would have to invest money like to buy the said shoes. You'd have to invest money to pay rent. You'd have to invest money to maybe employ a sales person and all that. So this YouTube is a business, you guys. You can make so much money, but you also have to be willing to spend money to make money as far and as far as you're able to. Okay. So for us, one thing we did right from the beginning is we were able to outsource to an editor. An editor, is, our editor is awesome, awesome, awesome. As you can see from the quality of our videos, not just in this channel but in the other channel. Highly recommend him. So we've, he's been with us from day one. But even right now, as I'm saying, for me, the time and the effort is so crazy. So I'm at that stage in life where I've been considering maybe getting an assistant. However, I, every time I think about it, I'm like, okay, so what would this assistant do? And I never quite know what, what they would help me with. I don't know. Maybe if you guys, if you are in a position where you have an assistant, what do they do? Tell me, because I would be so glad to get one. But either I don't know how to relinquish control. Let me just be open and honest here. Or maybe I'm not at that stage yet, okay? But I, I, I really would like to understand how to outsource for an assistant. But an editor, a thumbnail designer, a social media, all those, very good, very important because they will free your hands to be able to do so much more, to create more videos. Because we did a video talking about how to achieve your 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers as fast as possible. And one of the things we said is to make more videos. So yeah, that would give you more time to do that and a whole host of other things, okay? So yeah, those are the five costs. Let me know which one of these you are willing to pay right now or which one you feel like if you invested in in your YouTube channel, your channel could blow up. And don't forget to watch this video over here where I talked about how going full-time on YouTube is a scam. I'm so glad you watched this video to the end. I really appreciate you. Paying the cost on YouTube is worth it. The return on investment is astronomical if you do it the right way. And I'm always here to help you do it right. So remember, if you're interested in our masterclass, I'll link it down below. And I'll see you in the next one.